Where are you going? going so hey everyone, it's Sky here, and you might recognize this page. This is the page that we've been working on on streams and I'm just going to be doing a recorded video to finish it because it's almost done. Little Miko wants up and Lilo's here just hissing at her. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to finish up the background. So I'm going to grab out the Prussian blue, or Prussian, I'm not sure how you say that, and then I'm also, you stop that. I did think about lightening up the colors even more, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to come in with the Prussian blue. So I'm just going to start that now. And I'm going to bring this Prussian blue over top of the black and out a little bit into the colors. Don't mind the kitties. So I just feel like that black is a little bit too harsh and then it kind of grays out the colors. So I'm hoping that throwing in a fair bit of this blue will make it look a little bit better. I'm not going to zoom in for this just because we'd have to be working up all over the page here. Do you want down, girl? I want to keep as much of the color in as I can though, so I don't want to go over the colors too much. Behave yourself, she's fine. Lilo is so silly. She hasn't even raised a paw at the new baby, but she's definitely vocal towards her. I'm just waiting for that moment where they finally, I don't know, do something together because I know that they're gonna love each other. Lilo just has to let her guard down a little bit. And I think over time she will. So I've got that top bit done. I'm just going to come in with a water brush now and just very carefully activate this. And I say carefully because I've already got those colors in underneath. And I don't want to put too much water in or rub around too much because otherwise we're going to start lifting color and I don't want that. So I'm going to use a fair bit of water. So now I'm just going to do the exact same thing down here. I'm just going to work a little bit at a time. So now I've got this kind of area done. I'm going to come in and activate it. I'm going to have to grab some more water for my brush soon too. You 
using kind of a stippling motion in some places so I don't have to rub at the paper to kind of blend it. Part done, we'll hop along to the bottom here. I'm not going to touch the black at the bottom of too much. If that looks bur murky, that's fine, because technically it would be the bottom of the ocean, or technically we're making like a galaxy, so it'd be like the bottom of the sky, but still. I'm going to fill this up with water quick. Okay. Got some water now. Oof, too much water almost. So there's one side done. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but it definitely looks a lot darker. And once we throw the white on, it's going to look even better. And this side, I kind of went a little bit crazy with color, so along with going into these black areas and adding blue to them, I'm also going to pull the blue a little bit further into some of these other colorful areas. So like right here, there's like this huge blob of color. I want to get rid of some of that, or at least tone down some of it. So we still have that color, but it's not just all super bright. Same with this big patch of color right here. I want to kind of knock that down a little bit. Okay. Go ahead and activate all that. I'm going to come in and do this little bit here. Apologies if the camera shakes. Miss Lilo is just keeping her eye on the baby. More like on the baby's food. They love the smell of her food. over to this side. Exact same thing. I feel like it's like all color down here. I want to get rid of or at least mute down a lot of this. Apologies. I don't know how loud that was. I thought I had the sound turned off on that phone. So 
So I'm not being really neat with this. I am literally just throwing that color in there. Okay, I think, I think we're ready to add our stars. Okay, on to our stars. So I'm just going to get out what I call the splatter box. So I can't show the whole thing, but it's basically a huge box. This was a diaper box. And I've cut off one side of it. So that way, and we'll probably do this in parts. So I'll do this part first. So that way I can fit this in the box and then most of the splatter, because as you can see, there's a lot of it, will go just on here. So... Next, what we're going to need is a palette, preferably a clean one, a little bit of acrylic paint, white, I use a spray bottle, but you can just put a little couple drops of water in it. I want to dilute that paint, so just a couple sprays. And then you're going to need a fan brush, or you could use a toothbrush, but I find a fan brush works better. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to mix the paint into the water. Let me get some of that extra paint off, try and get all of it in kind of one area here. I'll kind of splatter some of the extra paint off. And now the tricky part is this is super messy and we are gonna get it everywhere so I'm gonna try and take a piece of paper oh, careful kitty are you okay she's adventuring right now let's go check in the place out I'm gonna cover up as much of my swordfish as I can I don't really care if I get splatter on anything else but I want him to stay relatively clean And then I'm going to come in, and I'm just going to start splattering the background. I don't really want to lay the paper onto where I just splattered, so I'm just going to use it to kind of... Hey, hey, hey. Careful, you two. So you can already see, I'm just going to go in and splatter. This is turning out messy regardless of how neat I try to keep it. I'm going to splatter this down as quickly as I can. And then I'm going to take a cute and I'm going to and just smear whatever splatter I have around and it pretty much just dilutes it, makes it look like it's not even there. Excuse you, that is my leg mess.
So you can come in and put in some bigger dots. You can add your own dots here and there. splattering that I don't really like is these ones that end up with like kind of like tails so actually I'm going to leave this for now and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back in after with a pencil and just kind of go over and get rid of those Let's try and get rid of some of the splatter in some other places that I don't really want it You could also wait for it to dry and try and scrape it off. Sometimes that works, sometimes it doesn't. Okay, get up there then. There's one side done, and like I said, I think I'm going to do one side at a time. So now that that's done, I'm going to take some light blue acrylic paint, and I'm going to mix just a tiny drop of it in with the white that I have left over. There I am. I'll lose that one. I'm going to grab a different one. This is going to make a really soft blue. So this right here is the color that I've got going. And then I'm going to take one of those Q-tips and I'm going to come in on all the bubbles. And using the Q-tip I'm just going to put them back in there. If it seems a little bit too opaque, you can always spray it with a little bit more water. Which I think I might do if I can find it here. Is it going to make you okay? She gets sad when a uh, Leo is mean to her. <laughs> I might miss some, but I'm trying to get everywhere that Kirby's drawn in some bubbles. I'm trying to go over all of them. will stand out a little bit more because I'll probably come back in with a white pen and kind of just highlight around them I think. 
I'm gonna remember that these bubbles aren't just in the background or on the swordfish, there's also some on the doodles too. might be it for the side. Let me just take a closer look here. I think so. I think I just missed one. That little tiny one right there. So there's one side. Let's get rid of this box here. Now you can see the difference between the two, and it is crazy different. So just because I want the same color on this side, I'm going to keep going in, and I'm just going to kind of do this backwards. I'm going to keep going in and coloring in the bubbles, and then we'll do the... Um, So now I'm just going to carefully, because some of these little bubbles, or stars, sorry, might still be wet, I'm going to carefully come in with my Uniball Signo white pen. I'm just going to outline if it wants to. This pen never works, I swear. This used to be the best pen I had, and now it's just awful. I think it might be time to garbage this one. Well, you're going to get white spots all over your paws down in there. I'll also use this to add in some more stars here and there.
a couple more little stars down here. And then any other highlights that we want to put in as well. As well as any shadows. So I'm going to grab my, well, a black fine liner. I'm just going to come in and darken up the shadow on that guy. As well as, apparently I missed adding eyeballs to a couple of these little objects. <laughs> just went right over that people I put in for that guy but I think that's good for highlights on this side maybe just a couple in the top fin here so this pen does kind of skip and that actually is working to my benefit for this and then I'm trying to decide She's moving around like crazy. I'm trying to decide if I want to go over the clouds. But I'm thinking for this one. I usually do. I'm thinking I might leave them dark. I'm not sure. Let's see here. I'm just going to do a little bit of this one. I can always go over with a black posca to get rid of it, but I just want to see what it would look like if we do. Yeah, I'm not sure. Let's just go ahead and do it. I feel like a lot of this picture is really dark, so everything that we can do to lighten it up a little bit is going to be useful.
Ну, пять это стоимость. This one is absolutely gorgeous, so I think I want it to stand out a little bit. So I'm just I'm barely letting the pen touch the page, and we're getting those kind of broken lines kind of going. It's actually working to a benefit. Okay, so there we go. There's a more cool looking jellyfish. Okay, general overview, I think I got it all. I want to go ahead and do the stickles first because the splatter will be the last thing. gold stickles. I think I've got something clogging it. Let's see if that helped. There we go. So I don't always put a lot of, I don't usually a lot of stickles. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of throw some in there and then I'm going to use the nozzle to just rub it around. I don't need it crazy glittery.
Okay, so I did opt for using a Q-tip in the larger areas because using the nozzle to spread the glitter around, bleh, to spread the glitter around it was just taking insane amounts of time and nobody's got time for that. So that's what I did and this is how it's looking. So it is extremely glittery. I did think about doing the bubbles in glitter too, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm just going to leave the clouds glittery. And let's see, I'm going to grab my indigo blue with this one color pencil. I'm going to very carefully come in on these white lines. And actually, that's not getting rid of them as much as I wanted, so let's maybe try the black instead. Black works a little bit better. I'm just going to come in on these stringy bits and just kind of get rid of them. Because they kind of bother me. Okay, cat. You guys are getting on my nerves. I love you, but my goodness. Okay. So those more of the bigger ones out. The purple spot here is a little bit tricky, so I'm just going to... blend this black kind of out from it just to create a little bit of a dark spot kind of blend it in a bit there and then it's not going to be quite so noticeable so now I'm just going to splatter this side of the page and I'll probably do the same thing with the black along those lines, but it probably won't be on this video. I'm going to splatter the page, show you the finished process, and then, or the finished piece, and then that's going to be it, and yeah. Since we've got glitter on the other page, I can't really flip the book shut. So I'm just going to go like this and hope for the best. water down some more paint. Oh, I didn't need too much paint that time. I'm going to carefully come in and start splattering. I'm going to try to be as neat as possible, but it's pretty much going to be impossible not to get the stars everywhere.
Oh my goodness, that one was terrible. <laughs> okay, well then. I'm gonna pull that out of there, getting paint everywhere in the process, and I'm gonna clean this up the best I can. Okay, there we go. I think that's fixed. I'm going to just come in with the black a little bit here. It's still kind of wet, but I'm just going to run the black in here. Just going to darken that right up. Okay, and here it is finished. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you on Wednesday, hopefully. Okay, take care, guys. Bye. Where are you going?